Hey guys, it's Chris. From incredible fighter jets that will be the best in the world to prototypes with swimming pools, here are nine incredible jets of the future. Number nine, Aralis Dart Jet. A common misconception about jets is that they're only used for combat and reconnaissance, but a key factor happens before anyone can even get into the cockpit of one of these planes. Mainly, they have to train to be ready for missions in these vehicles. And to that end, specialized training jets are used to prep pilots for what is to happen once they go up in them. The problem is that many modern training jets are only equipped to do one kind of flight style, low or high altitude and speeds. However, with a new concept jet called the Aralis Dart Jet, they seek to remedy this problem. This singular aircraft would be used to satisfy the demands of integration, adaptability, and more efficient training of pilots geared towards the newer class of fifth-generation flying platforms, such as the Lockheed F-35 Lightning II Strike Fighter being adopted in greater numbers globally, while also having the capacity to support modern fourth and fourth-and-a-half generation platforms. One of the reasons that this jet is so perfect for training for many is because of its shape and style. It was built to mimic the form of other jets and be able to be piloted by both a trainer and a student. The basic aircraft form mimics the largely accepted design lines seen in competing types, such as the BAE Hawk and the Aero L-39, both detailed elsewhere. There is tandem seating for the crew of two, student and instructor, with the rear seat elevated beyond the shoulders of the forward operator, and this position is usually reserved for the student. The nose is sharp with a downward taper offering excellent vision out of the cockpit to the front and sides of the aircraft. Should this concept jet be instituted, it would drastically speed up the training times for pilots which would mean getting them in more advanced jets faster, getting them into the air quicker, and getting them into missions sooner. The British Royal Air Force is particularly interested in this model of training jet, because you can't send a man or woman into the cockpit of a fighter jet unless you know they're ready for what's coming. Number 8. Japan's F-3 Now you might not think of Japan as a nation that has a large military, and by their own decree via World War II, they will not be a military-focused nation. However, they do develop jets and other things to protect their home, and a sixth-generation fighter that they're working on right now is aiming to be a top candidate for a future jet to look out for. Our F-2 fighters are expected to retire from the late 2030s, a Japanese Ministry of Defense spokesperson told Janes in February of 2019. In order to acquire new fighters that are capable of playing a central role in a future networked force, the Ministry of Defense will promote necessary research and launch, at an early timing, a Japanese-led project with the possibility of international collaboration in sight. A noble goal and one that could lead the Japanese F-3 jet to being used across the world in some shape or form, which has happened with a wide variety of jets over the years, including certain jet fighters being literal collaborations between multiple nations over the years. As for the Japanese F-3, we know that it's an advanced model of the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin that was created by Japan in order to show the upper limits of jet fighting and fighter capabilities. However, since this is a potential exclusive to the nation, its finer details have not been revealed just yet. Not much has been confirmed in terms of the F-3's technology, except that it will be powered by high-thrust XF-9-1 jet engines. The XF-9-1 is a similar design to the US's F-119 jet engine used in the F-22 Raptor. Japanese television footage also revealed active electronically scanned array radars for use in the F-3 program. Number 7. Aaron AS-2 as air travel grew, so too did the need to have all sorts of jets for all sorts of situations, and that included having jets for business folk to get from one part of the country to the other in record time in order to close deals and attend meetings. Sometime in 2020, the Arian AS-2 is scheduled to make its debut and become the next supersonic business jet that will be used by people of wealth. Overall dimensions include a length of 160 feet, a wingspan of 70 feet, and a height of 26 feet. It's not only going to be a fast jet, but one that can break the sound barrier in such a way that it'll go supersonic speeds without creating the signature sonic boom. The AS-2 is seen as an aircraft that can reach speeds of up to Mach 1.2 without producing a telltale boom signature heard on the ground, giving it the necessary leeway to traverse the airspaces over many parts of the world today. 
Also, just as you would expect of a high-class jet, its interior will be tailored to its high-class users. The cabin space will measure some 30 feet long, comparable to the competing Gulfstream G450 line. A gallery will be integral to the comfort of the passengers, as will two lavatories, one found forward and one located aft of the passenger cabin. A dining slash conference table will be found aft as well. In short, this is a jet that's built for the high-ranking business class. And in fact, the project was being pushed by American billionaire businessman and philanthropist Robert Bass under the Aryan Corporation brand label. One thing that should be noted, though, is that this kind of supersonic air travel isn't allowed in the United States, but international travel doesn't prohibit it. Number 6. Russia's MiG-41 Without a doubt, Russia has been the creator of some of the most well-known and powerful jets in history. And when you think of the Russian Air Force, you no doubt think of the MiG, a jet that has shot down numerous foes in its various forms over the many wars the country has seen since its birth. One of the reasons that the Russian MiGs are so feared is that they're constantly evolving them and looking for new models to use for future conflicts. And their next step is to evolve the current MiG-31 models into the MiG-41s which by the Russian government's own admission is a fusion of futuristic technology that they wish to deploy next decade sometime. Moscow's higher school of economics defense analyst Vasily Kashin had this to say on the matter. I think this is something like a fifth plus plus or maybe a sixth gen project, so we probably should consider it as having the same status as the American, Chinese, and European sixth gen projects. Something futuristic, which at best will be deployed by 2035 to 2040. Further reports state that the aircraft will go beyond four times the speed of sound. And to help compensate for the fact that humans can't react that quickly, there's said to be an AI element within the future jet. As if that wasn't enough, it may also be able to fly into space. Number 5. The Next F-22 Raptor In the USA, the F-22 Raptor is still widely considered one of the best fighter jets ever made. This is due to several factors. First and foremost, the F-22 Raptor is a fighter jet that is nearly invisible to all radar systems, which makes it invaluable for both recon and precision strikes. Second, it was built for true superiority, meaning it has the range, maneuverability, and the weaponry to take to the skies and take out all opposition. This is helped in part by its vast array of missiles. Later versions of the F-22 Raptor were outfitted to be even more versatile, including being able to do ground strikes. Plus, the engines on the F-22 are so powerful, they could get the jet soaring up to 1,500 miles per hour on average, and it was so efficient, it could span a range of 1,600 nautical miles. But at times, the jet can go so fast that it reaches Mach 3.5, which is an astounding 2,685 miles per hour. While this jet is still one of the best in the world today, that's just by today's standards. To that end, the US military is working on the next-gen version of the jet fighter so it can be replaced. However, to be truly next-gen, it's going to take some work. This new aircraft would need to operate on a long range in order to reach faraway theaters without fixed bases such as the Pacific. With the increased presence of the anti-access area denial systems, supersonic speed and stealth would also be a must. Because of this, there's going to be a lot of experimenting and exploring about how to make this legendary aircraft even faster and even better, which is going to take a lot of time and lots of testing. When this next generation of jet fighter will come out is unclear, but if they succeed, it would be one of the most powerful vehicles in the air. Number 4. UCAV What's the future of warfare? That is a question that has led to many advances in technology over the years. In regard to recent advancements, that's the rise of unmanned vehicles. UAVs, drones, robots, and more are going to the front lines to scope out enemy strongholds, defuse situations, and even drop bombs or missiles on enemy targets. And in the UK, the next evolution of that is the UCAV. The unmanned combat air vehicle is the evolution of the unmanned aerial vehicle. The UCAV, therefore, is the effective bridging of the gap between the original unmanned UAVs of yesterday and the full-sized unmanned jet-powered multi-role aircraft of tomorrow. This is more than just a drone with heavy armaments. The UCAV is aimed to have its own very special programming 
that will allow it to make decisions in the field. It will be able to read a situation and be able to break away from mission parameters or adjust them should new information come to light. However, should a glitch or an incorrect judgment come along, the operators on the ground will be able to override it. Should these drones work and prove their work, this would greatly advance the field of combat in numerous ways, and potentially limit unnecessary casualties that UAVs and their pilots sometimes cause. Number 3. The Tempest Project Currently, the United Kingdom's most reliable fighter is that of the Eurofighter Typhoon. This jet was actually the result of a group of countries that comprised the Eurofighter Consortium, which consisted of Germany, Italy, the UK, and Spain. The idea was to pool resources and ideas so they could create a jet fighter that was multi-purpose, could do battle in the air, on the ground, and be far-reaching, and they succeeded. But now, the UK is aiming to push farther with their Project Tempest. Team Tempest demonstrates our commitment in ensuring that we continue to build our capabilities, draw upon our, draw upon our experience in history to bring forward a compelling vision for the next generation fighter jet. In the last 100 years, the RAF has led the way and today's announcement is a clear demonstration of what lies ahead. But if you're thinking that this is going to be a simple, upgraded jet like what other countries are doing, you'd be wrong. Not only will the Tempest be able to be flown without a pilot, technology on board will allow it to control a swarm of drones that'll help it complete mission parameters. It's believed that it will use an AI system to not only help it guide through missions, but also relay information to other aircraft that are nearby as well as ground control to ensure the success of their missions. Just as intriguing, should a pilot be used, they will have a VR helmet that will simulate not just the cockpit, but what the plane is seeing to help them understand what's going on in the sky. Number 2. Boeing 777X Commercial jet airliners are a vital part of the world today, as they allow people to travel all over the world in a fraction of the time it would take boats or slower planes to arrive. As such, to better improve business and customer satisfaction, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that the next generation of jet airliner is coming. And one such model is the Boeing 777X. The original Boeing 777 was introduced all the way back in 1985 and variations of it have been made since, but this new model is going to be the most efficient twin-engine jet in the world. Or more accurately, the two new models of the Boeing 777 will be. Currently, the 777X is set to be represented by two distinct model forms, the 777-8X, the standard offering, and the 777-9X, featuring a stretched fuselage with three-class passenger configuration. The former showcases an inherent range of 8,700 nautical miles, with passenger seating from 350 to 375 persons, and the latter sports a shorter range of 7,600 nautical miles, though with seating for 400 to 425 passengers. Stated individual unit pricing, are 371 million and 400 million respectively. The airliner is set to go into development in 2020 and has already gotten orders from various countries around the world. Number 1. Jet Blimp At one time, blimps were considered the future of air travel, but events like the Hindenburg proved this was not the case. However, the future may indeed be with blimps, and one solar-powered one is being made right now. Varia Lift airships are making the next generation of blimps that aren't just solar-powered, but built with jet engines. At present, their goal is to focus on cargo travel, ensuring large amounts of cargo get to their destination at a good clip. Variable Lift airships will ultimately secure a significant percentage, possibly the bulk, of the global air freight business, and a small but still extremely valuable portion of existing road freight business, particularly for long-distance bulky or lightweight goods. It's stated by the company that they will be able to make a trip from the UK to the US with just 8% of the emissions that a regular plane or jet has, thus also making it more environmentally friendly. There have been several images of blimps with swimming pools floating around. An airline actually released it as an April Fool's joke, but to be honest, this might not be that far off. While they're not jets traveling at great speeds, blimps could be adopted to be floating cruise ships. Imagine traveling the skies at leisure with a swimming pool. Do you think this would be possible? Would you ride in it? Let me know in the comments below. While these new kinds of blimps do sound like they're business focused, it could eventually be turned into a personal commodity and could even fulfill the desire of having a blimp with a pool on top of it. The first completed models of this new blimp are set to arrive later this year.
Thanks for watching. What did you think of these jets of the future? Which of these would you want to be flying in one day? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.